and here under these trees snowdrops are coming up you can see about the place here's some but I'm also transplanting there's some places where there's big groups of them bigger than that or they're in pathways so I'm digging them up now and transplanting them here in the woodland and when I was digging them up I discovered this look at that you can see it, where it's attached to the bit of timber that it's living off of. Oh yes, how are you bear? Yeah. <laughs> so I was transplanting some snowdrops. <laughs> bear wants attention. <laughs> now I've got everybody wants attention. <laughs> so much for me talking about a beautiful elf cup or fairy cup, or whatever you want to call it, attached to its piece of wood. <laughs> Bear's now lying down. Look, guys, I'm transplanting snowdrops. Can you not really? Do you have to? Just where, see, I, I transplanted. That's one that I transplanted there. And there's one that I transplanted there. And Bear, you're just sitting almost on top of the ones that I'm transplanting. Thankfully, snowdrops are very hardy. I'm going to put this back on the ground. <laughs> really? A woman can't do any winter gardening with a pack of dogs like you, I tell you. No, you really, you really are. You all want your loving bit of loving, don't you? Here's another beautiful clump, but it's not the pathway. The only ones that I'm doing are the ones that are in pathways at the moment. Honestly, you guys, how do I do any gardening with you guys? <laughs> Isn't that right, Inka Dink? I'm doing my gardening with my bent pitchfork. Look at that. I think I might need to get a new pitchfork. This pitchfork, I've tried to hammer it back, but it's not very straight. So when you're digging a hole, it doesn't work very well. Now, I hope you're not digging up any of my snowdrops that I've just transplanted. Inca, rude! You child! You brutal child! Okay, I'm gonna go. You can see there's loads more snowdrops coming up over there. But the ones that I'm digging up are, there's a pathway right there. So you can see that pile of disturbed soil with the trowel. That's where I just dug up this last group of snowdrops. Anyway, that's winter gardening for you with dogs. Maya's thinking about digging more where I just dug up a bunch of snowdrops. So you can see these are battered. These are snowdrops. There's more that are off the pathway over there. So this time of year, I can see where they're coming up and with my, oh, it's not working very well. This fork is all twisted. I think I'm gonna have to get a new fork. Uh. There we go. So, that is a bunch of snowdrops. You can see they're all very, tightly packed together and I can break this up and um, separate them out and put them in different locations. Spread the, spread the snowdrop love. You see all those little roots, bulb, bulblets, little bulbs. Oh, and there's a worm. So I'm going to separate these all out and put them in other locations so that this path can be free of snowdrops. You can see there's um, all kinds of things coming up. There's snowdrops, crocuses, um, aconites, uh, cow parsley, uh, bluebells, all along here. But I wanna take the snowdrops that are in the path up out of the way. Isn't that right? So you can see from this compact bunch that probably hasn't been separated for a long time. You just have to pluck out ones like this 
That's what, you, what I do. I pluck them out like that. And then I've got to do this one-handed so it's not easy. What I do with the fork is I stab it into the ground, rock it, well, rock it back and forth, uh, pull it out. Then I've got um, holes. So I take these and I just insert them into the ground. One, two, three. Cover it up and Bob's your uncle. And that's transplanting these. So it's take the fork, stab the ground, rock it back and forth, clear a space, grab three of these, find the holes, stick them down, there's the other one, there it is. pinch them up and cover them again. And there we go. Here you can see some daffodils are coming up. So I have to be careful where I stab the ground. The dogs all think I'm gonna, having a lovely time. You can see what non-compacted snowdrops are blooming, but there are also different seas, different snowdrops come up at different times. So these might be late, later snowdrops. So anyway, I'm gonna turn off the video and continue planting this clump before the rain comes because um, it's getting darker and windier and wetter feeling. So the rain is about to come as I'm planting these snowdrops. You can see there's lovely snowdrops. Here's some of their brethren that I'm transplanting. When they're like this, it's an excellent time to transplant when they're in the wrong place and you want to move them. Just that height, just coming out of the ground.